Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best ways to get better FPS and performance in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Once again, in this video, I'm going to be covering all the network issues as well as the FPS issues caused by a low-end PC and it's going to be a complete solution. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all this said, let's get started. Step number one and really important step that you should never skip is create a restore point. To do that, simply search for create a restore point and then select local disk C or any local disk with this system over here. Make sure that protection is turned on. If not, go to configure and then make sure to turn on system protection. Then simply click on create and name it R6 which stands for Rainbow Six Siege. Simply click on create and let it do the job. I highly recommend you guys to not skip this step because it's one of the very important steps. If anything goes wrong on your PC, you can always restore everything back to normal. Once it's done, simply close it and you are done. Next most important step is go to your Steam, simply right click on Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, go to manage and then go to browse local files. Once you are in here, simply select the whole folder directory, then look up for game mode. Once you are in here, make sure that game mode is enabled, then go to graphic settings and over here, click on browse, paste the file location over here. And once you are in here, simply select rainbow6.exe, click on add, then go to options and then select high performance, which should be saying your graphics card over here. Once you're done with that, simply click on save and close your settings. Now once you're done with two of these steps, simply download my Rainbow Six Siege optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Once you download and extract it, you'll see four folders in here. The first one is registry optimization, then RAM optimization, Steam launch options, and finally programs. Opening up the first folder, you'll find all of these registries. The first one is disable Cortana, and that's gonna save you a lot of processing power. Simply disable Cortana, and whenever you need it, you can always enable Cortana with the second registry. Then run this CPU priority registry and this will speed up your processor. Then you can disable power throttling, increase system responsiveness and finally this is one of the most important registry that will optimize your PC if you have a low end PC. And if anything goes wrong you can always restore all of these settings back to the original ones. So once again you have got all of that covered and if not you can always restore back everything to the restore point. To merge all of these simply right click and select merge. If merge option is not showing up simply double click and run them. Go to the second folder which is RAM optimization and once again you'll find in RAM registries over here. To look up for the memory you're using on your PC simply press your windows key and then search for system information. In system information you have to look up for installed physical memory. For me it's 16 GB it can be different for you. So I have left many presets over here from 4 to 64 GB you can select your preset and simply run it. Once again, if anything goes wrong, you can always restore it back to default. Third folder has Steam launch options and for that simply copy the launch option over here, go back to Steam, simply right click on the game, go to properties and in the launch option simply paste this simple line of text. Once you're done with that, simply close it and finally go back in the program section and in here you'll find in two programs the first one is memory duct and second one is unpark cpu simply install and open up memory duct and here is how memory duct actually works as you can see my pc is using 54 percent memory of my installed physical memory as soon as i hit clean memory and i click Yes, you can see 2.3 GB of my memory has been freed and the memory in use is falling down. I highly suggest you guys to run memory duct each time you open up your game. This is going to save you a lot of memory allowing your game to perform much faster and much better. Next program is unparkcpu.exe. Simply open it up with administrative permissions. And once it opens up, you can see your CPU. As you guys can see, I have 24 enabled cores. So our CPU has a tendency of parking the cores that means turning the cores off when they're not in use sometimes many games do not use all of your cores so you do not get much performance over there but using this software you can get better performance and a better cpu output by simply sliding this whole bar to 100 percent unparked and then simply click on apply and this will show you 
how many cores are parked and how many cores are in use. Just by doing these 4 steps, you are done with the FPS pack. Now to fix your ping issues, here comes exit lag. Exit lag is pros choice to get rid of all of your network problems. Simply go to the link in the description below and download 3 days free trial for exit lag. Once you have downloaded exit lag, you can look at the interface. On the left section, you will have a list of over 250 games to choose from. Simply search for Rainbow Six. And over here, select your region. For me, it's gonna be AEW01, which is the nearest server to me. If you don't know the nearest server to you, simply look it up on Google Maps and then click on use the routes within my country first. If you have servers within your country, it will use it. But in my case, I live in India and I do not have any routes within my country. So just uncheck this option, simply click on apply routes and you guys can see Rainbow Six Siege has been added to our recent list now until exit lag is running on your pc you will not face any problems with your internet once again exit lag also offers us tools you can simply go to the tools section and in the fps boost section enable the third fourth fifth and second last option which will get you best performance once again guys exit lag is not free to use you have to get a subscription plan to use it for long term but trust me guys the quality of gaming experience you'll get using exit lag is worth the price you can get the monthly semi-annual or quarterly subscription but here's a catch you guys can use code bearfox20 to get instant 20 percent off on any of these subscription for the first time so make sure to choose wisely last but not the least is the tom clancy rainbow six sieges in game settings so simply open up your game Alright, so once you are in game, simply go to the settings section over here, go to options and then in here, go to graphics section. In graphics section, select overall quality to lowest because that's gonna use the minimum of your GPU. On the bottom right section of the screen, you can see your GPU and the amount of memory your game is utilizing. Just make sure to play along with the settings and make sure to keep it under 1000 MB. Once again guys, leave your specs in the comments below and I'm gonna be replying to all of you with the best settings and FPS possible for your PC. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.